Alright, string changing 101. How to change uh, strings on a steel string guitar. First step, remove the old strings. Now before you do this, you can't have tension on the strings or else you could actually damage the guitar yourself. So, um, handy tool to have is a string winder. Um, this makes life easier. Instead of turning by hand, you can go along. Also has a peg to remove the, um, or an end to remove the pegs on the bridge. So, just loosen uh, the tuning machines up. You can do one at a time on steel strings like this. I like to do all six, take off all six strings. All right. Once the strings are loosened, you can then cut them. Some basic wire cutters are. Usually do a couple at a time. Remove the old strings. I like to keep the pegs in order um, because the strings are different thicknesses. You know, the uh, the groove on the pegs will wear down quicker over time. So if they wear down completely, you can always replace them. But they fit better when you keep them uh, in line. Alright, so all your strings are off. So you notice on the end of the string there's a little bit of extra winding about a, you know, a little less than an inch away from the ball. You want to just give it a slight bend where that winding is just to help the string stay down. So now we have the string with the ball and the peg. So the peg, if you notice, has a groove in one of the faces of it. So the, gr the, the groove has to be facing the headstock of the guitar. So inside the bridge what's going to happen is the peg's going to go down and the ball's going to catch. So that's what keeps the um, string in the guitar. So we just barely put it in, right there on the edge, groove facing headstock, and you kind of pull up on the string as you're pushing down on the peg, you know, right about there. And if you'll notice in the end, you can still see the end of the winding. That means the string's in the correct place. Okay, now we're going to get ready to put the string through the tuning machine. So the tuning machine has holes um, which go, you know, front to back. So you, you want to align the hole pretty much straight. I like to go a little bit of an angle that way, maybe a little bit of an angle on those. But so you feed the string straight through. Here's the important part. So you have your string winder ready, the string is tight. Now, if you were to just wind, there would be too much tension on the string and the string will either break or it will be unhealthy for the guitar. So what you want to do is you want to give it exactly one fret worth of slack before you start winding the string. So again, I'm pulling it tight. I like to grab, uh, I'm going to be winding with my left hand so I get it ready. Just kind of hold it. So I'm going to grab it with these two fingers and just pull the string back, hold it right about there. Now you don't want to rest your fingers on the fretboard of the guitar because your fingernails will actually make marks in the fretboard material because it's wood, ebony, maple, rosewood. So I like to just hold it up just a little bit off the fretboard, just hold it very tight and I'll keep a finger about right there. Now on the bass side, um, you want to wind forwards. So just like that, hold it nice and tight. It's going to try to slip through your hand but just keep holding it and you want the string to go over the top of the string like that as it winds. Don't worry about the string flopping around, you're going to cut it afterwards. So you'll feel the string you know, approach where it's finally getting to be fully tight. Once you get it on there enough you can let go with your two fingers once it's on there. And the bottom of the string you want that to be up towards the top so if it's having trouble getting there just loosen it a little, just move it with your thumb and then tighten it up a little bit. 
Now you don't want to go crazy, just get the string on there, don't worry about tuning it yet. What you don't want to do is go too far, because if you put too much tension, there's a good chance the string will break. All right, once the string is on, um, you can take your wire cutters and you can clip it as close as possible you know, to the tuning machine, but really make sure you don't hit the other part of the string. So just right about there. And what you have is a nice neat wrap and no excess string where you're gonna you know, hurt your finger or anything like that. Some people like to tie things, some people do the loop method, but if you do it the way I just showed you, I never have strings break on me and in a you know, long time coming now, um, hasn't been a problem, so good success rate with this method. So now we've come to the opposite side of the um, guitar, so with this is a three side tuners they call it, or three per side, bass and treble. The other type of um, guitar would be either a classical, which would have a slotted headstock, um, which is much different, and also an electric guitar like say a Fender, a Stratocaster, a Telecaster would have six in line tuners just on one side. So same thing, give it a little bend where the uh, winding stops there. You got your groove facing the headstock. Pull up as you push down on the peg. Feed the string through. Okay, now I hold it a slightly different way on the um, on this side of the guitar. Same philosophy. I'm going to be winding with my right hand, so I grab my think my um, winder here, hold it tight. You still want one fret worth of slack, but now I'm going to grab it with my thumb and index finger. Again, don't touch the fretboard. Um, then I'll just kind of place my third finger just on the groove, you know, on the nut where the string goes. Same thing. And then on this side, you wind the opposite way. You wind backwards. Just hold the string tight again. Make sure it goes over the top like that. Just keep going. Once you feel that the string is has some tension on it, you can stop. Cut the remainder. Voila. All right, so the first part is complete. We've gotten all our strings off. We've restrung the guitar. We've clipped all the remaining ends of the strings off. So now you can uh, tune the guitar up. Um, now if you just were to tune it, um, the strings actually need to be stretched quite a bit first, so it'll keep going out of tune if that's the case. So you want to give it a cut, uh, some good stretching before you um, tune it up. So first thing I'll do is tune it up to pitch. You can use your electronic tuner, or if you have a decent ear, you can do it to some point of reference. different ways I like to stretch the strings. Um, first thing I'll do is I'll grab each string and pull it up and down. You don't have to let it go because it'll slap against the fret, but just give it a few good tugs up and down. And then I like to stretch the strings uh, sideways, so I'll grab, um, with a couple fingers, usually grab each of the low strings, just bend them down like that. Grab the high ones, just bend them up a little bit. Retune the guitar. those two steps again. So again, stretch them up and down a few times. And stretch them sideways a few times. Retune for the last time. If you notice that time, the, the string was only a little bit out of tune as compared to the first time it was about a whole step. Our guitar should be re-strung and somewhat in tune, hopefully. 